Okay, YouTube, this is going to be a more serious video that I'm going to be making. And this one's about self-harm, mostly about cutters, burners, stuff like that, people who harm themselves. And um, I'm pretty good on this subject. I know a lot about it. I know a lot why people do these things. I know how to fix these things. I give a lot of good advice about it. I um, Every day on Tumblr, I get requests on how to, well, help yourself. So I help you guys out. And what I found is um, you can get over depression, you can get over cutting and stuff, and I'm going to tell you how, and I'm going to tell you some things that I know. Now, I can, I'm going to first start off by relating to you, which is probably a good way to start. So you can, for, I can make you feel like me and you are on the same level. Like, you're like, oh, this guy doesn't understand me, he doesn't know what I've been through and stuff like that. Well, if I like to share my experience with you, you can connect to me and we can have a little bit of a, like a trust barrier for you to actually listen to what I'm saying. Um, I used to be in a very bad depression for a couple of years and I used to be um, very suicidal. It goes on and off now, but it's not that bad. And I used to self-harm a lot actually, like over a hundred times a day or so. So it was pretty bad, and I have scars and everything, but I find them beautiful, and that's a whole nother story. So, uh, yeah, where to go from this? Um, I just want to start with, well, some questions that I got on Facebook, actually. Um, let's see, the first one I see is mentally abusing yourself. Now, this can be done in many ways, like, you, like, put yourself down a lot, or you're like, dude, I fucking hate myself, I can't do anything. Like, I can relate to that because I've never really loved myself, so I don't really have a reason to love myself. Like, there's many reasons that I should, but I don't, and it's hard. And if you really hurt, if you, like, hurt yourself mentally, like, just messing with yourself, all you gotta learn is self-love, and I'm currently doing that. So stop mental abusing yourself, just learn how to love yourself, and you'll feel better about yourself. Look for things, like, how I found it to be easier is help people. When you help people, you feel really fucking good about yourself for some reason. Like, you feel really boss that you're helping other people. So, like, me helping other people, like, making these videos and stuff, that makes me happy. And that's a good thing. Now, um... Just love yourself, really. Just all, that's all you have to do. Um, my opinion on cutting, like, there's an, I think there's an art to it. Like, it's beautiful. Like, there's an art, maybe even a photography to it. That doesn't mean that you should embrace it. Like, it, it's a, a good way to put it is it's a good thing and it's a really bad thing. Like, it's a, it's an okay thing, but it's a really, really bad thing at the same time. Like, yeah, it relieves stress, it relieves stuff, you get scars, and it stays forever. But you feel good for that point in the moment, you feel alive, and you... Some people get addicted and do it for fun. I was one of those people. Um, the thing is, it can be really bad for you, because you can end up, like, really addicted and, like, hurting yourself a lot. But, like, there's a beauty to it for people who have gotten over it. Like, if you're over it and you have the scars, those are like your battle scars, those are your memories, like, I'm proud of mine, other people are proud of theirs, like, some people are proud self-harmers, there's a thing about self-harmers where they, like, if you're a self-harmer and a self-harmer, you'll tend to, like, share stories, and I find, I, this happens to me a lot, it's like, oh, dude, this one time, I, like, bled so hard that this happened, and it's like, it's like, you have that little bond moment, and when you have that, you can, like, help people more, it's like, oh, dude, same thing happened to me, like, I've been laying in blood and shit like that. It's like, oh, I, I can totally relate to that. And it's like, oh, dude, sick, you actually did that? No way. Like, it's a little bonding moment that self-harmers have with each other. I, I have personally had those experiences. And it's, it's a nice thing to have, but it's really not a good thing. It's not a good thing to self-harm. It's not a good thing to mentally abuse yourself. It's a really bad thing. Like, you should love yourself for who you are and what you do, but if you're a dick and you don't love yourself, just change that. I did. I'm nice now. I'm helping people. I'm being good. That's all you gotta do, really. Um, I got another one. Um, how to stop cutting. And this is a really big one that I get asked a lot on Tumblr. How do I stop? How do I stop? I want to stop, but I can't. I want to stop, but I can't. I was in that shoes for a long time, and what I found to do was replace it with another addiction. Not the best thing to do, 
but replace it with an addiction that's not too like bad for you like like let's say let music be your addiction it's not that bad it's not gonna hurt you like it's like oh I feel like hurting myself replace what you would normally hurt yourself with with something else like I've tried video games coffee other shit like Tumblr, Facebook, talking to people. Like, if you feel really like that, like, one thing that I found really good is just have a buddy that you can call, and I have, like, seven different people I can call, like, in the middle of the night and just talk to. And it's a really good thing to do. I mean, I'll be one of those people for you. Like, if you tell me on Tumblr I need someone to talk to, can you call me right now? I'll personally pick up my phone, call you, see what the fuck's going on, talk you through it. And I'll be good. Like, if you ever need that help, you can always hit me up on Tumblr. Try me on Facebook. It's harder to talk to me on Facebook. Like, on Tumblr, I'm nicer to people. I don't know, some reason. But, like, back to scars. Like, you can be proud of them, but it's not good to boast. I mean, I like to boast. It's just like, yeah, I have, like, yada yada. I did yada yada. But you can only boast with the people that have done it before. So you don't seem a creep to people like you can't just go out and be like hey guys look at my wrist I'm fucking pro at this shit like you you can't do that You have to do it. That means you're an attention seeker and those people uh, They're just they're annoying. They're very annoying people <sighs> They just do it for the attention and you don't want to look like that. I mean it's good to get help from a person who knows how it is that's already gone through it. Like, you know how cancer people, they're surrounded by people who already beat cancer? Because it's like, oh, you beat this, I can beat this too. Like, if you surround yourself around people that have already beaten it, then that's a good thing. Or if you surround yourself with people who do the same thing, it could also be a bad thing because that may make you want to hurt yourself more. But, like, it's really not that hard to switch it out. Like, oh, dude, I just want to just rip open my leg right now. I just want to rip open my arm right now. Fuck it. I'm going to play some music. You know what? I'm, I'm going to stand up and start dancing. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand up and start dancing to make myself feel better. And that's what you got to do sometimes. Like, if you're feeling bad, just... Dude, make yourself a cup of coffee, cause like the time it makes a good, to the time it makes to make a good hot cocoa or like any, that takes like ten minutes or five. So you're gonna be like busy. You're gonna be like, fuck, I gotta make this shit all good. It's gonna be so good. You're gonna be like, wait, I wanted to cut like five minutes ago. I don't anymore, but I have hot chocolate now. So it's like, dude, and if you're like, oh, dude, I have hot chocolate, but I still have that urge. Put on music and have hot chocolate. Like, surround yourself around good stuff. I know that's hard because I'm normally a depressing person and shit, but I don't want to be anymore. You have to want not to. And it's a really hard thing to do. A lot of people are stubborn. A lot of people just want to die. And this is another thing. Suicide. I want to die. I've always wanted to die since I was in the blah blah grade. I've wanted to die since I was in the blah blah age. I've wanted to die since the fourth grade. It's not like a different story for me I know this shit they're like oh how can you want to die since then it's like dude it's it's complicated that's not what this video is about this video is about helping people who self-harm and I believe there's many ways you can stop it many ways you can help it like I'm saying dude like if you need help make a video but don't make one of those fucking dumb videos when they go That shit annoys me. Like, if you're like, do you seriously need help? And like, want to reach out to someone? Fucking handing up note cards saying how you're feeling is dumb. You should just tell me. Like, seriously, get on the phone with one of your best buds. Say, hey, I got some shit that I need to talk about. Like, seriously, I need you to be serious for a second. I need to talk to you about something. Like, that's all you need to do. Like, you just need to talk to someone. Or just... Go on your Facebook, put a status. If you have enough friends, just be like, I need someone to talk to. Someone will comment, that one person will comment and be like, I'll help you. There's like a song lyric by Kimye Dawson. It's like, if you want to hurt yourself, remember that I love you. And if you want to kill yourself, remember that I love you. Call me up before you're dead. We can make some plans instead. Send me an I am, I'll be your friend. Not necessarily be your friend, I'll be your buddy I'll be your counselor not really because I know what you're going through and I hate when people tell me that I do I 
hate it when people say, I know what you're going through. Trust me, I've been through the exact same thing. It's like, dude, no, you haven't. I've been through similar things, so I can understand where you're coming from, but not exactly. Like, other people self-harm through drugs. I don't know how to fucking handle that shit. If you're addicted to drugs and that's how you self-harm, wrong category. I'm like with the physical harmers and mental harmers. Like, let's go what I went over. Let's see. Mentally hurting yourself. Dude, love yourself. Love everything that you are. If you don't love yourself, then fucking be a better person, you know? Just be a nice person. How can you hate yourself if you're nice to everyone? And I think I know who you... I think I know... No, I know who I'm talking to right now. And you know me too. Come on, dude. You're, like, an awesome guy. Don't... You shouldn't, like, mentally, like, abuse yourself. Like, I know who I'm talking to right now. Or like... And physical harmers... You just... You have to have the want to stop because if you stop You can have you can okay. Here's the good thing about self-harm if you stop You can still have those memories and urges that you want on you forever Like it's like oh, I need to have self-harm. I need to ruin my body You'll always have that with you and that's a bad thing and a good thing It's a good thing for me because I value my scars like I find them beautiful I find scars on other people beautiful. Like it tells a story about them. It's like, oh, this person was strong enough to go through this and get through this and do this. So they have scars now because they're done. They, they're through that, they're done with their life. They're not done with their life. They're done with that phase in their life. They're good now. They're happier people. And most people who self-harm afterwards are really nice or really mean people. Really mean that they're just afraid of people and they're insecure and I had a little bit of that earlier. But, Man, if you're sad, just find what makes you happy. And if nothing makes you happy,